The last jungles in Asia still contain so many mysteries that not a year goes by without it being discovered that an ancient legend really exists or that a mythical animal has always lived here. But the myths spoken of in ancient travelers' tales are now up against a formidable enemy, a human population that is constantly growing. Like this giant boar, man and the great jungle stand looking each other in the face, not knowing what to do, unsure who will take the first step. At any moment, mutual respect may turn into aggression. And what will happen to the unicorn then? India contains 16% of the world's population on just 2% of the land surface. But the tradition of creating forest and nature reserves dates from the 4th century BC. For the time being, Chitwan and Kasiranga are a good home for the rhinoceroses, with around 400 in the Nepalese park and 1,200 in the Indian one as well as other small groups scattered across another six areas. The total population estimated by the World Wildlife Fund in February 2000 is just 2,095 animals on the entire planet. Weighing almost 2,000 kilos and weighing 4.2 meters in length, it needs up to five square kilometers to cover its territorial and dietary needs. Its constant movements among the grass create an entire network of tracks which other animals take advantage of. It's hard to believe that such a formidable animal almost disappeared forever as the result of false, ridiculous, magical and medicinal beliefs and what is more, beliefs held by people living far away from these animals' homeland. The Indian rhinoceros deposits its feces, creating over the years large piles which act as olfactory markers or beacons, defining its territory. Gigantic dung heaps that are impossible to ignore, even for the least sensitive nose. Rhinoceroses are essentially solitary animals, but when the males reach sexual maturity at 10 years of age, they fight even the females when they meet. During these rare encounters, even the elephants prefer to leave them to it. Scenes like this represent, like few others, the essence of the wild paradise of this part of the world. Contrary to popular belief, they do not use their famous horn as a weapon, but rather bite at their rival. The loser will move off to try his luck elsewhere. Another of the paradoxes of the ancient unicorn is that its horn is not the part of its body the Nepalese most appreciate. They come to the dung heaps in search of what they swear is an infallible remedy for coughs. When you get home, nothing better than making yourself comfortable and enjoying one of the most highly prized products of the land. All you have to do is to spread out a piece of paper and sprinkle a little rhino dung on it.
With care and patience, you achieve just the right texture to mix it with tobacco according to taste. An exquisite cigarette containing the most select feces in the region. For them, the enormous piles of dung are a plentiful supply of the ingredients for the finest tobacco. Without a doubt, an exclusive luxury that only a few can enjoy. The taste of a legend would surely be a fitting advertising slogan.